approach, and then we'll have questions for Jamila. Yeah. Uh, really an amazing game in so many ways. Uh, play here or there gives either team the game in regulation, and then another one in first overtime, and then uh, and then they made they did what they needed to do in that second overtime. The third overtime was uh, was cr crazy too. So just an amazing game. Amazing effort by this guy, and uh, it's in some incredible things. So, uh, would have been a great win for us. I think it's a terrific win for Temple, and uh, we need to regroup here a little bit. We'll have a tough game on Saturday. Hopefully, we can do a good job. Questions for Jameer? Jay, just being from this area, playing in a game like that, an atmosphere like that. They want the performance you put on, kind of just kind of flowing through your answer. Well, a lot of mine really, I just wanted to win. So, whatever it was for me to do to win, I was willing to do. Unfortunately, we came up short. So, but the atmosphere, I, it was definitely a good atmosphere. And be, me being close uh, by and having like huge family members come out, uh, it was great for me. I know at the end of the game, kind of when the final one sided, it took a little bit to get up to seat on the bench was kind of just like reflecting on the game, just disappointment. Kind of it, was it was just that. a little bit of disappointment. There was this couple of plays that I, uh, that I had made that was like game changes, a little uh, step out of bounds, a little stuff like that. It was a rookie move by me, so just a little frustration by me. Jermaine, how hard is it to win all five guys on the floor have four fouls to play the game? It's hard because you out there, you got to you can't play as best as you, as you used to playing, so it's like you got it out there playing cat and mouse. I mean, it's very hard. And we almost found a way to do it. So. Anything else for Jameer? Do you have a, you know, your matchup with his ear? You guys were talking yeah. a little with you. How's that? No, it wasn't really nothing to it. Isn't it? That's my guy from where I went. It was just a, a I say I'm here, and he just. What about his day, whatever he said. So it wasn't really nothing. That's much love for him. We, we are one guy, so it wasn't really nothing. What was it, something on both your minds going up, one-on-one one on one against each other throughout the game? Not, not even what, you know. It was just like the, in the moment, like the game, I got a defensive stop. I said, good stop. And he just said what he said. Thanks, Jermaine. No problem. Thank you. <clears throat> Before we open it for questions, uh, Jameer, Jameer set a new class scoring record single game, 41 points. Just want to let you guys know that. Have you, right. co have you coached a triple overtime game before? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't recollect exactly when, where, and the result. But uh, yeah, it was just an amazing, amazing game. Brandon. He had the second overtime, you guys up three, they hit the three there. What, what was the call? Foul, no, or what, what did you want there? <laughs> well, we talked about not fouling, and then, but it, we also said if, if it's late in that shot clock or late in the game, five seconds or less, somebody starts to beat you on a drive, then just reach in. Uh, we practice both ways. We said it, uh, and I, I don't, I'd like, love to see the film as to where Settle came from we got to that point and then who but our main focus was to not let them get a three and to try to drive them inside the but uh, make them drive inside the three-point line and just that we never got to settle on that play so I'm really anxious to watch that on film and see see how we can do a better job on it you guys were playing with fire there with all those guys with four fouls I mean Bramley played the whole game playing you know Jay get the end foul probably would have played the whole game. Was it kind of just at the end, you guys just sort of ran out of gas there? Yeah, maybe. You know, maybe it was, but Temple was had a lot of guys out of the game as well, so uh, they just, they, they made the right play at the right time, and uh, again, Settle made a, a the, the other jumper by uh, by Barry was huge, too. Uh, I think it was Barry, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, 
that was huge. But we had our chances. We were dead in the water at the end of, of uh, regulation, but found a way somehow to to make it work. And then, you know, the uh, second overtime, we had our chances. And did that. What were your role motives for you coming coming back here? I know kind of lost in the grossness of the game. But, uh, yeah, I think you tried not to let it affect you. Obviously, I mean, I, I was here for a long time, and uh, just great people here at Temple. So you know, I was trying to pay my respects to as many people as I could, yet trying to keep my mind uh, as to what we were trying to do as a team. So I've you know, hid in the locker room for the last hour before the game, that kind of thing. But it's, it's a special place. It, it was very good to me, and I'm grateful for that. So, but this is, this is a tough, tough game to, to be this close. And, uh, but I'm, I'm grateful to my guys, to how hard they played, how hard they worked, to put us in position to, to win a game like this. We just couldn't get it done. But on the other side of things, yeah, it's just, you know, it's a special place for me. I'm grateful for the time that I spent here. Fred, how did you approach the, the guarding them tonight? Julio's out. Say that again. How did you approach um, <coughs> the game plan, the guarding them tonight? Julio White's out. Um, Adam's working through some new pieces. Are there guys that you wanted to try to take away initially, like a Piccarelli or a yeah, I mean, Piccarelli doesn't miss many, many jumpers. He's very, very good. Uh, we were trying not to let him get to hurt us. There was one play that we made in the first half, I think. Yeah, it was absolutely in the first half where uh, we don't finish at the rim, and they run it down in transition, and he makes a three in transition, which was a really hard shot to make, but he did. Um, and then Hasir. He just really playing at a, a pretty nice level at this point. He's, he's a good basketball player, a tremendous kid. And uh, so those two guys were the two people you, you think about right away. And uh, obviously they had some, some great performances by uh, I see her, great performance by R Riley. The one block he had on, on Brickus, he just it looked like he had sized that up greatly. He, he made some really good plays. Stanford I like a lot. They got they got a really nice team. I think they're going to be okay, and uh, I, will, I will not uh, I will not be surprised by any success that they have. So, what do you instruct your guys to do defensively when they're going through a couple of overtime periods where again all all five guys on the floor are one? Yeah, I mean the, we practice all this stuff enough that we don't you know that, that we we we're, I, I was I would rather have Jig not take that last gamble. To make to his fifth foul because we were, he was playing so great, but we talk about that a lot. And, but we're asking them not to foul and I'll put them on the foul line, and because uh, we went fairly deep here today, which we had not done very much in our first five games. Anything else, Coach? Coach, from a Big Five perspective, obviously you know Temple and LaSalle's rivalry. You had the other the Holy War going on tonight uh, on the main line, and now looking forward to the Big Five class on Saturday. You guys have been going up against Penn. What does all this, you know, excitement around the Big Five mean to you being in there? Well, I'm hoping that the, well, what it, the the powers to be have decided for this year and next year works. I hope I'm hoping that uh, it, it's going to be a great atmosphere on Saturday. I hope a lot of people go. And uh, obviously, I don't know anything about the St. Joe Villanova game and how that turned out. I, I heard St. Joe won. But where and how they won and that kind of thing. So I'll, I'll enjoy watching that. Um, for us, it would have been nice if we could have gotten this and played St. Joe or whoever. And, uh, but we didn't get that done, and so we will play uh, Penn, who will give us a, another game just like this. It's absolutely a battle each and every time out. And we don't have a lot of margin for error, so we, uh, we're going we're to have our hands full on Saturday. I'm grateful for what we're trying to do, and I hope that it works. Fred, what does it mean to you to have, I know you got a lot, a long season ahead, but to have this team playing at the Warhols, playing it right now, less than two seasons and to, and to come back to LaSalle? Well, uh, you know, I think like the Brickus and Brantley allow you to compete at a, at a pretty good level. And uh, uh, we need, uh, and uh, Anwar got in foul trouble today, and he's been playing very well. And, that, that hurt us. I think that was the biggest thing for, for us uh, to not have him play. I'm trying to see how many minutes he played. 21 minutes of a 
55 minute game is you know, we needed him in the game and, uh, uh, but I, I, I like where we are you know, but we got a long way to go the season will be really long this will be a tough game for us on Saturday and uh, we've got some really difficult games ahead of us so hopefully we can improve thanks coach uh, thank you very much